TV Power Up, serving photovoltaic contractors and integrators with practical information and answers. Today we're here with Dwayne Borkholder from Borkholder Builders. Borkholder Builders has been involved in the building industry for 20 years and more recently has become involved with building efficiency and the solar industry. I'm here with Dwayne Borkholder and recently he built a net zero house and his latest project is this home behind us which is an energy efficient affordable home for third world countries uh, most specifically right now they're looking at sending them to Haiti. We're now inside the Borkholder home which was intended to be sent to some third world countries most specifically Haiti but also is available for people here in the United States who are interested in some simple living uh, energy efficiency and also just great construction. So I'm here with Dwayne and I was wondering how did you become involved in this project? Well originally we got involved overseas in the Eastern European countries and that evolved into under, you know, really understanding that there's a, a big need worldwide for economical uh, good structures and especially in homes. And so as we started working with different organizations and, and then started networking with some people at Ball State University, uh, looking at a sustainable village, we designed this 20 by 20 uh, with an upstairs, uh, so a story and a half, and really started to focus in on uh, how can we meet the hurricane, earthquake uh, issues that, that really are prevalent worldwide and come up with the most economical, living space possible. So I'm, I've been very impressed by the home. I, I think that it, it has merit uh, in developed countries as well, but uh, again, in the developing world, it's, it's even more important. And what would this home bring to someone in, a, in Haiti that they do not have access to right now? What are some of the features that you'd like to highlight? Well, first of all, the maintenance part of it, everything is built out of uh, block, concrete block. So uh, as that block absorbs the heat, it's going to uh, maintain that heat index into the evening and into the night. What we're hoping to do is, is by using steel, one, it's, it's maintenance free. So there is no continuing maintenance for the next you know, 20, 30, 40 years. Uh, also, it repels the heat. And with a hybrid insulation package, you actually have a much, much cooler home during the day. Um, issue of uh, actually these homes being designed versus just put together with inferior concrete, um, maybe just guessing it at what's, what they need size-wise for materials. So this really becomes an engineered home. Yeah, and that's something that they probably would not have access to necessarily in Haiti. Uh, you're also involved in the solar power business. So on a home like this, what type of solar system would you have and then what would that run inside the home? Well, we've been working at and designing a low voltage system. Uh, one, it cuts out the inverter, which is a, a fair amount of cost in, in any solar system. So then your components become very easily manageable. They come, they're easy to switch out. You've got solar panels, you've got a, a, a charge controller, and you've got some batteries. Because in many of these developing countries, you don't have the infrastructure in place to really start a new development. So a very inexpensive, uh, very low-tech uh, system. Yeah, I think that that is definitely an important point. With solar inverters, the costs can be increased. It is definitely uh, beneficial to just go from the solar panels to a charge controller, be running things on, on low DC voltage, things like LED lights, probably water pumps, uh, possibly even some other appliances. So this is really an exciting project and very impressive. And I, I think that it will bring the standard of living in places like Haiti up, but also has merit here in the United States. Uh, in a developing country, where would you see the use of this type of home? Uh, maybe, a, maybe a cabin, or what type of applications do you see there? Exactly, especially a cabin. You go out to Colorado where, where you've got issues getting uh, the electric back to some of those places. Uh, very, very high cost. You can do your... Uh, net zero uh, structure, house, but even it, you, you can start getting imaginative and, and think why well, this could go in your backyard for your parents as they're retiring. They don't need a big space, very, very low cost. Uh, you, you look at replacing mobile homes in a mobile home park 
Uh, it, it just has, it has a lot of application in a lot of different areas where you're really trying to become, uh, to do as low cost housing as possible and yet really have a, a, a great efficient living space. Yeah, I, being inside and seeing it from the outside, it, it looks good, it's simple, it's practical, it's economical. I, I think it's going to be a big success. Thank you so much, Dwayne. Thank you. We would like to thank our sponsor, Innovative Solar a national integrator and distributor of solar products and solutions. For more information, visit them on the web at InnovativeSolar.com.